Hi, we're back. And today we're going to be talking about open syllables. Remember when we talked about closed syllables, we said it's always about the vowel, right? We decided that it, how you spell a word or how you pronounce a word is really how the vowel sound is. And the vowels can make two different sounds. We have the short vowel sounds and we have the long vowel sounds. The short vowel sounds say a, e, i, a, and u. Uh. And the long vowel sounds just say their name, a, e, i, o, and u. So when we come to a word in text and we're not sure how to read it, it really comes down to the vowel being either short or long. And we know that when we have a guardian consonant following the vowel, the vowel will be short. Remember we talked about those guards in football and if someone's trying to run the football to the end zone and he has one or two guards, he's stopped short. He can't run long. And so the vowel is short when you have a guardian consonant. But what would happen in a football game if you suddenly found yourself with the football and no guards? You could run long all the way to the end zone. And the same thing happens in syllables when a vowel doesn't have a guardian consonant. So looking at these words, not, best, flag, rack, wit, and slem, we knew that all of these guardian consonants were keeping the vowel short. But what happens when the vowel is open? and there is no guardian consonant, suddenly this vowel says its name. So this is no, b, flay, ray, y, and slee. So this is important in single syllable words and there are three vowels that can just be open in a single syllable word all by themselves. Those vowels are o, E and Y. O, E, and Y are vowels that can just be all alone in a one single syllable word. Let's look at some of the words that we know that end in open O. No, so, go. How about common words that end in open E? Open E says E and we have B, he, and she. And we know that the vowels are A, E, I, O, U and sometimes Y. And Y in a single syllable word at the end is open Y says I. So there's a rule in English that no English word ends in an I, and so the Y steps in for the job of the I. Let's take a look. How about the word shy, or buy, or try? Now, I know what you're going to say. You're gonna pop up with how about the word hi, like hello. And high is a slang word, so it just is kind of a rule breaker. The other word that is common that ends in I is the word ski, and that isn't an English word. The, it's not from the English language. So we know that usually we say these rules and then we can find some kind of little exception, and that's okay. So the other vowels, A and U and I, cannot be found in a single syllable word. But we still need to know what their open syllable sound is because they can be found in a two syllable word. How about the word baby? I know that in a two syllable word, baby, the one consonant will run and then we have an open A. So open A says A and this is an open syllable. 
So a closed syllable is when a, gar a vowel has a guardian consonant, and an open syllable is when it does not. All right, so I'm reading along, and I come to a word that I don't know, and I need to figure out how to decode it or how to read it. I'm going to use the exact same system, our two famous syllable decoding strategies that I've always used to figure this out. So, step number one, find our vowels. Step number two, build a bridge and look up. What are we looking up for? We're looking up for consonants. Say it with me. When I have one consonant between my vowels, one will run. Okay, so there's my L and he's all alone and so one will run. The L runs to the second syllable. And now I've divided this word that I don't know into two chunks or two parts that I can read one at a time. So would this syllable be li or li? It would be li because this is an open I. He doesn't have a guardian consonant, so he says his name. Open I says I. And this I can run long. If he was a football player, he'd run all the way to the end zone. So this is li. And this syllable, is it lake? or lack. This one has a guardian consonant which keeps the vowel short. So this one is lack and my word is lilac. Lilac. A lilac is a kind of flower. Okay, let's try one more. What if I have this word and I don't know what it is. I'm coming to text. Am I going to just guess based on a more familiar common word? No way, I'm too smart for guessing. So I use a strategy to break it up into parts. Step number one, find your vowels. Step number two, build a bridge and look up. What am I looking up for? I'm looking up for consonants. And this time I see two consonants. However, I always have to do the check. What's my check? I'm looking for blends or digraphs because I know that blends and digraphs stick together. So this is the rascal letter R. He's gonna blend with the C and that's gonna count as one consonant sound. So now I have, when I have one consonant between my vowels, one will run. And I know that it's not really one consonant, it's a blend, but we also know that blends stick together. So here are my two parts. Is this C or C? It's an open syllable. Open E says E. He can run long all the way to the end zone. So this is C cret. Secret. It's a secret. Okay, let's do one more and I'm going to challenge you this time. How about this word? You come to this word in text, you have no idea what it is, but you have a strategy. So quickly with me, here we go. Find your vowels. Look up. When you have one consonant, one will run. So in this word I have, Sci deg. My word is sci deg. Do you know what a sci deg is? Neither do I. It's a made up word, but you were still able to decode it. All right, so following our pattern, now that we can decode or read words that we don't know, let's use a strategy to speak spell words that we don't know how to spell. So we know that when we are coming to a word that we don't know how to spell, the first step is ask yourself how many syllables does this word have? So the word I want to spell is relax. I can't wait to go home and just relax. 
How many syllables does relax have? Re, lax. Two syllables, so I'm going to draw two syllable scoops. Okay, now I tap out the sounds in each syllable. My first syllable is re. The sounds are er, e, re. And I can capture each one of those sounds. I know that open E says E. Whenever I have a long vowel, I know I have to do something. It has to either be open, I have to have a magic E or a vowel team. And in this case, my E is open. So now I have relax. Let's tap out the sounds in lax. L, A, X, lax. L, Ax. My word is relax. And if you tap out the sounds in each syllable, then you don't forget letters. Then you capture all of those sounds. The next word I want to spell is music. Step number one. How many syllables are in music? Mu. Sick. Two syllables, so I'm going to draw two syllable scoops. Now I'm going to tap out the sounds in the first syllable. Mu, m, u, mu. And I capture both of the sounds. I know that u is a long vowel sound and this is an open syllable. The next one is sick. S, i, Ick. And I capture each one of the sounds. So my word is music. Perfect. Tapping out the sounds in each syllable doesn't guarantee you spell the word correctly, but you'll get really close most of the time. All right, that was all for today. Now we know open syllables can run long.